Hi everyone, welcome back. For those that do not know me, my name is Mary Beth Pecora and my blog is mybelovedsvoice.com. So today we are still in our Wisdom is Supreme series and we're going to be finishing up uh, Proverbs 18 today and we're going to focus on verses 13 to 24. And as you've noticed, I've been cutting the chapters in half because there's so much and, and I'm doing as I feel the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding um, what to focus on and, and um, what I believe will help us as we acquire wisdom in this life. So as we begin, let's pray as we always do and ask the Lord to bless what's going on and that He, Holy Spirit would speak. Lord, we do come before you and we thank you for your word. We thank you that you have given us wisdom far than what we could ever obtain from ourselves, And we thank you, Lord, that you have left your Holy Spirit to lead and to guide and to provide all that we need to be wise in your eyes and in your ways. So Lord, I pray that as we learn to yield to your ways and to your voice, that you will release that wisdom that is way beyond our years and that comes from the throne of God. So I ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs 18, beginning in verse 13, going down to 24. I'm going to be reading from the New International Version. And as we begin, sometimes in life, in our discussions with others, we're in need of a referee. And hopefully as adults, we can learn some things about releasing our words before we need that arbitrator in our life. So I began in verse 13, because here what it, here's what it says about listening too quickly. It says, he who answers before listening, that is his folly and his shame. So yes, I confess I have been guilty of this myself, answering completely, answering before someone has completely uh, ended the conversation or ended what they were saying. I am guilty of interrupting and I am also have been guilty of acquiring an opinion before really, really, really hearing their heart. And I found, found that if we are too hasty in answering, we may not understand what the other person is really, really saying. Have you ever retorted back to someone too quickly, only finding out that your assessment was wrong about what they were saying? It, it's quite humbling, isn't it? To come to that assessment when it was wrong. But I'm learning as I grow in the Lord and as I age, that if we use discernment, we will be able to hear what the other person is saying. And that requires acquiring good listening skills that should be implemented as we open up our ears to hear. But not just our ears to hear naturally, but what the ears of the Spirit are saying with our hearts, with our hearts. And if we use discernment, this is what it will produce. I love the Word of God because His answers are there. In verse 15 it says this, The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge. The ears of the wise seek it out. So if your heart, if you're discerning, that discernment inside of you is going to seek out what the other person is saying. And that comes from the Holy Spirit. Not only listening with your natural ears, but with the ears and eyes of your heart. So allow what you heard to be processed through your heart. Because in those times of being offended, it's important to take the time to let the Lord soften that blow. And it's up to us to yield and allow that offense to be softened in our hearts. Because look what it says in verse 19. It says, an offended brother is more unyielding than a fortified city and disputes are like the barred gates of a citadel. 
there's so much power in our tongue. Because the tongue, in verse 21, it says this, the tongue has a power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. That's pretty, that's pretty heavy. Yes, friends, we acquire a harvest from our words. So we get to choose if it's gonna be a good harvest or a bad harvest by the things that we say. And the type of fruit that we acquire is whether we are speaking life or death. So I wanna exhort you today and, 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 and highlight this verse in Proverbs 13, three, it says this, be careful what you say and protect your life. A careless talker destroys himself. And we are all guilty of this at times, but the older I get, I'm, I'm asking the Lord to correct this mouth and to help me to think before I speak. Look what it says in verse 20. From the fruit of his mouth, a man's stomach is filled and the harvest from his lips. With the harvest from his lips, he is satisfied. God so delights when we speak with wisdom for it brings forth good things. We have a good, good father who delights in us and who delights when we reap good things. So as we close, learn to speak with wisdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Remember to check out the blog, mybelovedsvoice.com. And until we chat again, have a good night and a great weekend. Bye-bye.